Hey what's up everyone hope you are doing well I am Shubhash Zath and welcome you to my channel and today in this video I will show you how you can create blurry atmosphere in your travel videos inside Premiere Pro. Now I see a lot of YouTubers doing this effect in their videos and I absolutely love it. I recently learned it and I am just so excited to share it with you guys. So once you're inside Premiere Pro, make sure to make a copy of this footage and you can do this by holding Alt or Option and then drag it and then place this on top of it, right? So now let me change the level so that you can understand it. Okay, so violet. So violet uh, footage is our copied footage. Okay, and now we are going to make changes to this footage. Now make sure that you are uh, inside the color panel and you can also access the color panel from here just type in lumetri color and then you can just drag it and drop it over here and you will get the access to the same panel okay anyway so uh, under the RGB curves what we are gonna do is uh, we are going to select the highlights in this copied footage and you can do this by dragging the middle of the curve to extreme bottom now you can decide how much highlights you want to select I'm going for extreme highlights okay and and once you have selected the highlights what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the blend mode of this particular layer and uh, I will change it to soft light so once you have uh, this effect uh, what we are going to do we are going to put a Gaussian blur effect on top of it but before this you can also adjust uh, how much uh, opacity you want to have in this layer in this case I'm going for uh, I think 80 is good for me now yeah just uh, come to this effect section and Gaussian blur is already selected and drag it and drop it on top of your footage and then come to this option and here you will see that there are three options provided horizontal and vertical horizontal and vertical i am going with the first one but you can play with these options according to your style and uh, then increase the blur and you will see that only the highlights section that were selected in our copied footage are getting blurred and giving you this nice uh you know blurry effect in your environment and you can go as much as you want i think it's good to keep it just you know around 47 48 to yeah 57 i think it's good because it's not entirely blurry but it is understandable that the highlights like it's like the sunlight is peeking through that areas uh, making it a nice blurish look and uh, yeah i'm going to keep it at uh, 55 and uh, yeah this is this is what i was talking about this is a nice blurry look i think this video is very dark for you to understand i should have gone for more lighter tones but uh, you get the idea also you can play around with different kind of blur effect so uh, for example i have this footage over here and i'm going to do the same make a copy of it by holding alt or option drag it and drop it on top of it i'm also going to change the color of this particular footage like my copied footage so that it's easier to understand so i'm going to do this caribbean and wow it's green that's good now uh and make sure that you are in the color panel and the curves is already there bring it down as much as you want selecting only the highlights yeah it's good i'm going to go with extreme and uh, i'm going to bring down the opacity just a bit maybe no let's keep it in let's keep it on 100 and um, I'm going to change the blend mode to soft light yes and now I'm going to put my blur effect on top of this copied footage now come to the effects panel and uh, as you see I was already typing directional blur so let's type it again directional blur and it's already here drag it and drop on top of your copied footage and from here the blur length and also fix the direction of the blur you see how it's 
having this uh, beautiful effect on your footage like it's like you are uh, in some kind of a game world or something like Far Cry <laughs> and uh, yeah you can uh, yeah I like I think well, I think this one is good and you can increase it or decrease it but I think this uh, I think 50 or 57 looks good yeah so that's it that's how that's uh, that is another way of you know creating this uh, effect using directional blur you can also do this kind of uh, effect on some sort of lightings in your videos that will give a beautiful dreamy effect and yeah so there's that now let me show you the before and after so this was before uh, this is an ungraded video okay this is after and if you just made a copy of this effect again this will give more you know punchy look decrease the opacity of this altogether yeah see more punchy gameish look and that's it for today guys hope you have enjoyed this video and found this video helpful now i know that i might be late in making this sort of tutorial videos but i also think that there are some beginners watching this video who might get help from uh, this sort of tutorial videos and uh, you know i'm also a late learner so um that's it that's it for today uh let me know down your thoughts if you find this video helpful like it and share it with your friends and i will meet you guys on my next video till then take care bye